go. Yovanis Pace, the English galloper out in front, a length and a half to Rose of War, who gets up to be second now, can get the trail. Northern Drake is third, and Rogan Josh, he's pulling on Marshall fourth, a length further back, fifth the inside, Kim Angel. Sixth is Idiyadi, followed by Emerald. It's out three deep, Idiyadi back in the middle, the inside, Sheer Kingston, a half just off midfield, now Arrowsmith. Two lengths are Katie from the hind, followed by Zippor, and streak last of all, 1,300 to go. Yovana Pace pricks up the ears down the back and leads the Sandown Classic. A length and a half in front of Rose of War. Northern Drake Park third. A length for the back. Rogan Josh going a little bit and out fourth. Fifth the inside. Kim Angel. Sixth to Yardy. Emerald three deep around the outside of Sheer Kingston. A half for the back. Aerosmith. Two for the back and the race behind. Arcady the fence. Two to Zippor. And streak last of all. A thousand to go in the classic. Yovanas Pace comes down the hill. A length and a half. Rose of War. Northern Drake Park third on the inside. A half away. A length into Rogan Josh. Fourth. Fifth on the inside. Kim Angel. From Eddie Yardy pushing up in the middle. Aero Smith. It's back running seventh. A length for the back. Then Emerald. Sheer kicks in the inside from the hind. Then Arcady followed by Zippor and Streak last of all. At the 7.50 metre mark, Yovanas Pace a length. Rose of War. And they clap a bit of speed on now. They're followed further out by Idiati taking off. Around Rogan Josh. And here comes Aero Smith putting in a run. Northern Drake was shuffled back and they're all off the bit turning. Idiati has charged up now to Yovanas Pace from Rose of War. Aero Smith into the clear. Followed for the back by Rogan Josh. He's under pressure. Not doing a great deal at the moment. Aero Smith is looming up to it. Yardi Yovanis Pace. Northern Drake getting the run through from Kim Angel. And here's Zippor with a late run. It's Aero Smith and Northern Drake getting to the front now from Zippor. Aero Smith hit the lead. Zippor after it from Northern Drake. Aero Smith in front. Zippor with a late lunch. Aero Smith. Aero Smith wins it a next Zippor. Ahead third Northern Drake then Kim Angel. Arcady streak. Then the hind and further back in the race, Yovanis Pace. Rogan Josh didn't come on today from Rose of War. Further back was Emerald. They're followed by Eddie Yardy. And Sheer Kingston is back towards the tail. Three Aerosmith, 6.30 and 2.20. Nine support, 2.40 to two Northern Drake, 3.90. On the Super Tab, three Aerosmith to pay five ninety and two even. Nine support to return two forty and two Northern Drake, $5.10. Book ride by Greg Childs. Northern Drake getting the split through on the inside with support further out, but the numbers go in the frame. Three, nine and two. Three, nine and two. Aerosmith, Greg Childs, number nine second. Support, Brett Preble and Northern Drake. Grant Cooksley back on the inside third in 230.3. Well outside the record with Richard Hughes going to the front on Yovana's pace. Slowing them down, dictating his terms, but Idiati was the first to attack at about the 550 metre mark and got them off the bridle. Allowed the back markers then to uh, travel into the race. And the first one there at the 300 was Aerosmith. He just had an incident free run all the way. Just had a glorious run for Charles. Never had to spend a penny. Came into the race at the right time as he went to Idiati and Northern Drake got the split up on the fence. And the tackler was going to be Zippor in the goal with the red cap out wide. But Aero Smith had arrested the lead from Northern Drake and the closing Zippor. And it's Aero Smith who claims the wait for age Sandown Classic today. A good training uh, performance by Peter Hurdle. Missed the Melbourne Cup. Waited. Had a fresh horse into the race. And it's interesting that the place getters didn't go around in the Melbourne Cup. Aero Smith first. Zippor coming off the, uh, the Queen Elizabeth. And Northern Drake recapturing some of that form today. You could see the way he was enjoying the run. Always third and fourth and travelling sweetly on the fence. He drove through and that was back to some of his right form. Rogan Josh pulled, travelled a little better for about the last 900. It was under pressure turning in, weakened. Officially fourth is number six and that is Arcady running on well and fifth in is number 13 and that is Kim Angel. She also made good ground late. But it's Aero Smith and Greg Charles, five ninety and two dollars. Three Aero Smith, six thirty to win, two twenty a place, nine Zippur, two forty, two Northern Drake, three dollars ninety. The Quinella twenty dollars. The Exacta forty four seventy. The three nine two trifecta five hundred and fifty eight dollars. The first four on three nine two and six is four thousand eight hundred and forty one dollars fifty. The extra double one over and three Aero Smith. Ten dollars. Off it away. Gets away by four. We're off this time. 
And a little slowly into stride was Prophet's Kiss and best out from the inside, Lelius from Saudi Warrior. Smart Attack is next. Then Springtime Romance followed by Katusa Boke. Sun Hayes next to last and Absolute is Prophet's Kiss going around the first corner and up past the 1200 almost now. And the leader is Lelius about a length Springtime Romance. Then Saudi Warrior Smart Attack one out one back from Katusa Boke. Two lengths to Sun Hayes and about two lengths to Prophet's Kiss. This is the order working down the back of the Canterbury course at the one thousand marker and Lelius leads the way over springtime romance then Saudi warrior smart attack followed by Katusa a length and a quarter then to Boke second last is Sun Hayes and last of all being Prophet's Kiss eight or nine lengths between them as they head along to the 750 and the leader Lelius for Larry Cassidy one and a half on springtime romance over on the inside of springtime romance is Saudi warrior Sun Hayes gradually improving hits position now going around smart attack and then Prophet's Kiss trying to get onto the back of Sun Hayes Katusa shuffled back to second last and the Queenslander Boke is stone motherless. On towards the 400 they travel now and Lelius the leader from the word go. A half length on springtime romance. A length the Sun Hayes urged hard by Carmody and then Saudi Warrior and over on the inside is Katusa as they straighten up and Lelius under pressure. Springtime romance has almost got Lelius followed by Saudi Warrior and then Prophet's Kiss responding on the outside but springtime romance is drawn clear. Here's three for the water house stable springtime romance beat prophets kiss third home in the event was saudi warrior then boke katusa lalia smart attack and sun hayes was last number four springtime romance 690 and 220 five prophets kiss to pay 180 and seven saudi warrior 260. 220. number four springtime romance prophets kiss number five a dollar ninety after a slow start, did quite a good job to get second. And number seven, Saudi Warrior, will pay $2.40. Springtime Romance has only had the two starts for the new trainer, Gay Waterhouse, for a second on Melbourne Cup Day, which is a very good run. And a second up for Gay today by Last Tycoon from Sandy's Pleasure, a four-year-old brown mare, owned by the Guri Pastoral Company Syndicate, managed by A.J. Baddock and E.M. Kawanko, and Danny Beasley, the winning rider four five and seven seven dollars and two twenty springtime romance number five profits kiss second a mare by nadiem trained by ron quinton brian york has paid 190 and seven saudi warrior a gilding by cossack warrior from dubai flash gordon york brian carter four five seven exotics quinella 23 30 exact a 47 50 and the trifecta 299 20. forward about the 50 meter pole she really did shorten stride, but she's one, one, no question. And running and the mares have come out in a good line. Danzig Star got its head up after the start. Perforate going back and visuals displays and Rainbow Bubbles have gone back to the tail. Londolozzi bounced in front now, moving up Faith outside it from Brindle Moose third. Perfect Lady fourth, Wellington Dreamer fifth from Chow Baby, Rose of Dane. On the fence, Citronella two further back, Sorrento Danzig Star. Over on the inside, got its head up and had to ease from Carmen S the middle. A length and a half, Savannah followed by Perforate. Flirty Bird, three out, two or three lengths, Rainbow Bubbles and two to visual displays. A thousand to go. Londa Lazy over a length in front of Faith. A length for the back. Brindle Moose third. Fourth the outside. Perfect Lady. Then came Wellington Dreamer. Citronella the inside from Rose of Dane. A little wide as Chow Baby on the outside. A length for the back. Carmen Esca the 800. One for the back. Serretto three deep around Perforate. Danzig Star the fence. Two to Flirty Bird. The inside Savannah. Then Rainbow Bubbles and two last of all visual displays. 650 metres to go. Londa Lazy a neck in front of Faith. Two to Brindle Moose over on the inside of Perfect Lady four. Rose of Dane has gone up fifth. Chow Baby out wider from Wellington Dreamer. Citronella back on the inside. Visual displays last of all in the turn. 400 to go. Londa Lazy from Faith outside it. Two for the back. Perfect Lady from Brindle Moose. Citronella the fence for the back. Wellington Dreamer. Chow Baby down the middle. Followed for the back by Sorrento. Londa Lazy the inside. Kicked a neck in front now from Faith. Citronella getting out with Rose of Dane on the outside. Londa Lazy in front. Rose of Dane flying. Ducked in. And out wider is Sorrento. Uh, Rose of Dane. Rose of Dane, last trot over Londolozzi and Sorrento flew to run third. Behind them, Citronella from Wellington Dreamer, Brindle Moose. Visual displays, Flirty Bird, Rainbow Bubbles, Carmen-esque. Then Faith just behind those, followed by Perforate, Perfect Lady, Savannah. Chow Baby pulling up quickly, and near the tail here is Danzig Star. Nine rows of Dane, 480 and 180 to Londolozzi, 390, 15 Sorrento, 250. Cool. 
Nine, Rose of Dane to pay 540 and 220. Two Londolosi, 380 and 15 for third Sorrento, 250. And she'd have been stiff because she did duck in with about 50 metres to go and she's... Leave Brian there off. His magic hopped out well as immediately headed by strike time. In search is travelling in third position. Mary Primer's fourth, then the favourite, a bit deep dancing jester from Blue Tess. Kaminka, Scarlet Air, and Better Succeed as last. It's strike time in front, not a lot of pace on, going down to the 800. Three quarters, Margie, Marty's magic second. Wider out another three quarters of a length away at the 800, dancing jester. Then in search, parked over on the inside of Mary Prim, two to Blue Tess, Kaminka. Scarlet Air over on the inside, and last of all is Better Succeed. Succeed. This is the pattern as they pass the 600 pole and strike time a length in front from Marty's Magic. The favourite on the limb in the third spot, Dancing Jester, still edging a little closer from Mary Prim in search. And then a gap to Kaminka Wider out from Blue Test. Better Succeed has passed one. And that is Scarlet Air as they swing around the corner. And the rider on strike time, Hugh Bowman, gives the horse full bore. And strike time a length, Marty's Magic. Dancing Jester's in reverse. Kaminka is starting to zoom down the outside and look a decided threat. The leader strike time, Kaminka and Marty's Magic. Marty's Magic, Kaminka. Marty's Magic in the middle. Marty's Magic might have wanted a nostril, Kaminka, and on the outside, uh, strike time on the inside, Kaminka the outside. We'll go Marty's Magic, strike time, Kaminka, but it's very close from in search and then better succeed. Mary Prim, Dancing Jester and Blue Tess in company with Scarlet Air were the last two. Close go there in Sydney, number one, Marty's Magic, if it gets it to return. 7.10, 220, two strike time, 6.90 to even, or number four, Kaminka, 4.60 for the place, 23.40 if it happened to get it. Ian? But Marty's magic looks as though she's just nailed strike time and Kaminka. And we'll soon see if the judge agrees. Yes, he has. Number one is first, Marty's magic at 7.30 and 2.20. Number two, strike time has paid 1.90. And number four, Kaminka. He just died on its run in the last 50 metres. Will pay $5. Quinella, 15.70. Exact a 39.80 in the trifecta, $455.80. The winner, Marty's Magic, trained by Clary Connors. That uh, was a good training effort because the mare hadn't started since the 11th of July. She's by Kenny's best pal from Sunset Beach, trained by Clary for BJ and Mrs. M.M. M. Livingston, ridden by apprentice Mitch Newman. And that was her 22nd start, win for three seconds and two thirds. Back to Ian in a moment. Kel with the replay at the Greyhounds. Came out in a reasonable line, evocative, getting back with Western Magic and first out. Valley Warrior, Happy Forest going forward, settling down from Raw Voyage. Zuccarino over on the inside when they settle now with Bonotto and pushing forward back in the middle is Tobruk when they sort themselves out here. Happy Forest just in front from Valley Warrior, Royal Voyage and Bonotto pushing up in the middle fourth. Zuccarino fifth from Tobruk and further back then Nicole Alas who's out three wide at the thousand two lengths further back Buster Jones. Blazing Sun about four lengths Gallopini uh, on the outside of it Future Ethics and two further back another Neptune Desert's Dream. A gap leg spin well back evocative and Western Magic strung right out. They've gone to the 800 Happy Forest to length in front of Valley Warrior. They put on a good speed, about two and a half raw voyage. Over on the inside, Zuccarino and then Bonotto fifth. Nicola last deep around to Brook, a length for the back, Buster Jones. Uh, Bonotto lost ground coming down the hill. Um, There's maybe something amiss with it. I think he's going to ease it out of the race, Bonotto on the turn. Then Blazing Sun and Gallopini about ten lengths off them. 400 out, Happy Forest led. Now the outside Valley Warrior. Raw voyage going up to quickly join those two further back, Buster Jones. Gallopini into the clear, starting to make good ground. Then for the back to Brook. Buster Jones after Royal Voyage at the 100 metre mark. Three lengths off then Gallopini. It's Buster Jones going up to Royal Voyage. Buster Jones has got his head in front. Royal Voyage fights back. Buster Jones just in front. Buster Jones wins it a nose. Royal Voyage two away third evocative. Then Gallopini from leg spinning up water from Happy Forest. Then Desert Dream followed by Blazing Sun. Behind those another Neptune Western Magic followed by Tobruk. Valley Warrior knocked right up. Just coming in Zuccarino Future Ethics. Nicole the Lass is a long way behind those and something's happened to Bonotto east out at the 600 metre mark or oh, it's bled badly. Number four, Buster Jones, 11.30, 3.80 in a photo over 12, Royal Voyage, 4.20, 6 evocative, 4.60. On the super tap, number four, Buster Jones, 11.60 and 3.90, 12, 
Royal Voyage to pay 4.20 and 6 for third evocative to pay 3.50 almost set at Elwick. Daily Double Melbourne on the combination of three and four should return $63. Bleeding badly from the, uh, well, it looks to be both nostrils here. And the rider had to ease him out. He was back running about fifth at the uh, 600 metre mark in a reasonable uh, position. But there was a problem and the jock quickly eased uh, this fellow Bonotto out of the race and he's bled badly. Okay, 4.12 and 6, number 4, Buster Jones. A 10 to 1 chance out from uh, eights. Overhauling Royal Voyage close to the line. And coming home well into third placing. Number 6, Evocative. Right at the barrier, Brisbane. Brisbane treble approximates. Now, uh, numbers... Off in the main race of the day, Yellow King missed it by a length. Other than that, a great start and Vigil and Cheeky Spy, the early leaders from Sudan Potter's Jan. Then Storm Boy, Shigeru, Magic Rom followed wider out Energize, then Venticello. Yellow King passing a few with Don't Disturb, and then comes Capitalism, Morphe, second last Sambo, and Little Lucifer's last. They head to the 600 marker and Vigil down from Tari makes play from Cheeky Spy. Potter's Jan is over on the inside of Sudan to Shigeru, Magic Rom. Storm Boy. One further back is Energize and then Capitalism Venticello followed by Yellow King. Then Don't Disturb and Sambo a little Lucifer and last of all is Morphe. On the swing, 300 metres left to go and Vigil the leader. The favourite in hot pursuit, Cheeky Spy. This is the Grey Mare and she bridges the gap on Vigil and Potter's Yarn. Capitalism is starting to come down the outside and then Shigeru Magic Romp and Energize. Capitalism after Vigil. They've dropped Cheeky Spy. Vigil the inside about to be over hauled by capitalism energize runs on but capitalism capitalism has won it from a closey vigil and energize followed by suit and then storm boy and don't disturb venticello cheeky spy shigeru magic romp yellow king potter's yarn little lucifer followed by morphe and sam boa finish back near the tail of the field stand by for placings super tab 10 capitalism 670 240 photo the miners capitalism Appreciating the return to firm footing today and has paid 750 and 270. Vigil and Energize in a close finish for second and third. Working from the top, Energize number five was showing at 460. And Vigil, who ran a very good race, number nine, battled on tenaciously, was about $3.80. Nine Vigil if it gets second to pay $5 and a five Energize to pay 380. 1095 our official. By Jack Denham for Mr. John Thompson by Royal Academy from World Party, a four-year-old bay mare, written by Brian York. Second placing going to number nine vigil by Boutard from Fiery Opal, David Matz, Atari, Mark de Montfort, and number five energized by Palace Music from Enduring, John Hawkes, Larry Cassidy. It was the first four in New South Wales, and number two suit ran officially fourth. Ten, nine, five, and two for the first four. 104.33, the overall time here, 104.33, 35.11 is the sectional run. Now that time, incidentally, 104.33, betters mockers race record by 0 0.22. A new race record here to number 10 capitalism, bettering the previous that has stood since uh, December, or actually uh, middle November in 1992. $3.20 and $2.00. A uh, bit of specking for Sovereign Squall in a couple of points. But substantial clear favourite here from Vintage Power. Stalls are back and they're off and running. And they've come out in a pretty good line too. Uh, one of the first out here is Jade Star bounced in front of Matt Star. Mr. Machiavelli going forward from Manhattan. Von over on the inside, Royal Centurac. Knockrow pushing forward now from Strictly Jazz Vintage Power. Further back in the race in Pure Steel, followed by Sovereign Squall. Then Fate Surprise, a fair way back Amnesia. The Bartered Bride, followed by Chief Red Eye. And substantial a favourite two lengths last of all. 1,200 to go. Mr. Machiavelli takes up the lead. Let's three quarters now to Knockrow. 
row, a length and a half to two further back, Matt Star third. Fourth, Royal Sancherac from Jade Start, Manhattan Bond. Pure Steel, two lengths further back, Strictly Jazz. Uh, the outside, Sovereign Squall, back in the middle, Vintage Power. A length and a half further back, The Bartered Bride, followed by Amnesia. Fate surprises wide around Chief Red Eye, and two to substantial last of all, 800 out. Down the hill, the leader, Mr. Machiavelli. Three quarters, Knock Row, two further back, Matt Star third. Royal Sancherac, fourth from Manhattan Bond. The outside of those would have been Pure Steel coming off the back from Jade Start. A fair way back in the race, Sovereign Squall, followed by Vintage Power. Fate surprise, Chief Red Eye, substantial, pulled out deep from uh, Strictly Jazz. The Bartered Bride and Amnesia, 400 out in the straight. Mr. Machiavelli, a half knock row. Two to Royal Sancherac from Matt Star. The outside, Pure Steel, battling on fairly well from Manhattan Bond. Substantial, right down the outside from Vintage Power. Knock row and Mr. Machiavelli from Royal Sancherac, Pure Steel. And here's Substantial, still three lengths off them, running home well. Knock row in front with 100 to go. Royal Sancherac out late. Out wide a Substantial. Knock row the leader, hanging on near the line. Knock row, a half length Substantial, close for third. Uh, Royal Sancherac or Pure Steel, a gap to Mr. Machiavelli. Vintage Power, Sovereign Squall, Amnesia, the Bartered Bride. Uh, further out then on the outside, Fate Surprise, a gap strictly Jazz, Matt Starr. A long way back, Manhattan Von, Chief Red Eye, Jade Start near the tail. Number 13, Nocro, $30.70 and $7. 14, Substantial, $170. Photo, third. 10, Royal Sincheric, $3. 7, Pure Steel, $9.50. 13, Nocro to return on the Super Tab there. $33.40 and $8.20. 14, Substantial, $1.60. And those for third, 10, Royal Sincheric, 3 even. Or number 7, Pure Steel, $10.50. Elwick, the last, goes today at 5.17, getting set to Woomba. Elwick, race number 8. 1 Al Rob Roy, 4.50, Two Profiler, 4.50, 3 Befitting, 21.5, 4. They're off. And she jumped okay, Starry Way from the inside, Lively Lad got the best of it, Starry Way sitting second, and then LA Lange with Kahula Way and a gap in to Zanetta, Shine Over, for a more wider out, followed by King of Atlantis, then Valen Sound, and Cutter in a compact field brings up the rear. Coming down to the judge, it'll lap to go, plenty keen to lead, and Shine Over has it from Zanetta, Kahula Way, Starry Way holding the fences fourth and behind them, LA Lange, then for a more on the outside of King of Atlantis, two and a half to Valen Balance. A length, the lively lad getting back after a good start. Sound it's outside. Add a couple of lengths to Cutter. Kahula Way takes the lead now. And heading to the 1200 marker, it's Kahula Way in front, a length and a half on Zanetta. On the fence is Shine Over. Starry Way is running fourth in LA Lange for a more. Followed on the fence by King of Atlantis. Nearly three to Valence, two to Sound. A half the fence is lively lad and two lengths to Cutter. Down the back of the course they travel, going to the halfway at the 950. And Kahula Way making play from Zanetta on the fences, Shine Over. The favourite is next, Starry Way around King of Atlantis and then Foramore, wider is LA Lange. Lively Lad, the inside from Valence, who's got back a little now, is third last from Sound and cut a close up on the fence as they reach the 600 marker. And Kahula Way in front to Zanetta, Shine Over third from Starry Way, about to be revved up by York, a length and a half to Foramore, followed by LA Lange making ground, shuffled back King of Atlantis, wider Sound with Valence, and then Lively Lad and two and a half lengths to Cutter. Onto the home corner they travel and Kahula Way being cut down quickly by Zanetta. Starry Way joining in on the outside and first of all Kahula Way is gone. And at the 200 marker Zanetta and Starry Way. Starry Way doing better at the moment. Hello Zanetta will not give in. Then LA Lange and Valence coming home well. Zanetta finds another gear. Valence is coming fast. Zanetta or Valence? Not much in it. Third Starry Way and fourth was LA Lange and then came Foramore, Lively Lad Sound, a good way back then, Shine Over, King of Atlantis, Cutter, and Kahula Way was last to complete the course. Close finish in the final event of the day with Zanetta in front and then coming very fast on the outside was Valence and the judge. Okay, four gets it, Zanetta. And in fact, it has. Four Zanetta has got the verdict there. Six forty and two dollars ten. One Valance, two dollars thirty. Will stand by for third. By Danny Beasley first has paid five thirty and two forty. Very dogged win. Number one Valance, written by Brian Carter, has paid two forty. And Starry Way, number three, written by Brian York, third, 
has paid 140. And 30 on super tap. 25 even, exact of $50.70, trifecta $100 at 80 cents. Zanetta, as I say, trained by Gay Waterhouse for her mum, Valerie, Mrs. J.M. Aldrich, Ms. L.A. Crawford, Miss Julie Ritchie, Mrs. V.B. Monarch, and Ms. S. Carter, the winner by Centaine from Zangler, a four-year-old brown mare, and a winning double to Danny Beasley. The time for the race was 155 59 155 59 and the sectional here is 3605 well it's a day that guy will remember for a long time four winners as we check the officials superfecta 413 10 6 11 413 10 6 and 11 and it's paid 64,236.50 64,236.50 the margins wasn't much in it a short head a short neck, short head by a short neck. 530 and 240 number four, 240 number one, 140 number three, Quinella 25 even, exact of $50.70, trifecta $100.80, and you've got the superfecta, and uh, that's nice to see that going off. When it returns to the